हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम प्रथमेश माथनकर एंड यू आर वाचिंग टेक्निकल नॉलेज विथ इंजीनियर्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट कमर्शियल प्रिपरेशन ऑफ सेल्यूलोस एसिटेट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो द रॉ मटेरियल्स व्हिच इज यूज्ड फॉर द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ सेल्यूलोस एसिटेट आर कॉटन लिंटर्स एसिटिक अनहाइड्रेट एसिटिक एसिड एंड कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड यू कैन सी सम पिक्चर्स ऑफ कॉटन फ्लावर एंड कॉटन लिंटर्स हियर इंट्रोडक्शन एंड बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट As mentioned earlier if the monomer in biomolecule then its polymeric form would be easy to degrade later on here cotton is taken as source which is naturally occurring material linters are considered as cotton seeds separated from cotton flower in gigging process cotton linters contain high cellulose content up to 98% and hence can be used in special application such as production of cellulose ester regenerated cellulose and nitrative derivative third since cellulose is already represented a natural polymer but not enough to be applied as polymer attempted have been made to introduce acetylic group up to 44% maximum to impart strength each cellulose ring is contained three hydroxyl group available for acetylation refers chemical reaction accordingly we can produce mono di and tri acetate derivative over cellulose it should be noteworthy that if we go beyond this above 44 to 45% the applicability may improve but the reduction in degradation as we are interested in biodegradable polymer cellulose with less acetyl content is more favorable for its decomposition after use now Let us imagine any atom made up of such polymer is thrown by us more than 50% of it still having natural cellulosic form and can undergo natural degradation anything made up of nature will be go back to nature biggest truth isn't it accordingly cellulose monoacetic might be best among di and triacetate as cotton linter is insoluble in acetylation solvent which is a mixture of acetic acid an acetic anhydride and is in a fibrous form it is necessary to make a hydroxyl group as accessible to the acetylating agent as is possible the pretreatment or activation which mainly includes soaking and cellulose in acetic acid prior to esterification greatly improve its reactivity Concentrated sulfuric acid is used almost exclusively in commercial practices as a catalyst for inducing the reaction of cellulose with acetic anhydride. Now you can see flow diagram for a preparation of cellulose triacetate. Let's see how it works. Number one, because of large numbers of hydroxyl group. cellulose cotton linters always used to retain some inherent moisture hence in first step one part of linters are passed through tunnel dredders to allow 5% moisture maximum number 2 to this 2.4 parts of acetic acid is mixed in a specially designed ss reactor called vernier and federer p is silent here and the mixture is run for 1 hour at 37.8 degree celsius third again four parts of acetic acid is added with 0.88% of sulfuric acid based on the weight of cellulose and the mixing is continued for 45 minutes fourth the mixture is then cooled to 18.3 degree celsius and 2.7 parts of acetic anhydride is added at this stage and the mixture is again cooled to 15.6 degree celsius with the help of suitable coolant through jacket fifth after this the temperature is permitted to rise gradually up to 32 degree celsius during an interval of 1.5 to 2 hours at this point the reaction mixture becomes viscous and free from fibers sixth after 1 hour dilute acetic acid two parts acid plus one part water is added 
which may rise the temperature by 5 degrees celsius the mass is then transferred to hydrolysis wells acetylator where temperature is attained at 37.8 degrees celsius until the resins of desired acetylic content is obtained here the agitator is designed in such a way that it mix intermix the viscous mass reference flow chart 7th the resin may allow to settle from remove the traces of sulfuric acid if any 8th the resin is then precipitated using 25% acetic acid solution and unreacted or regenerated acetic acid is drained from cellulose acetate flux dense cake and washed with water unless it was free from acid 9th the material is centrifuged or pressured to discard water and then sent to moving belt tunnel dredged the discarded water is recycled and precipitated tank from first centrifuged tank whatever dilute acetic acid is drained and sent to distillation column whether acetic acid can be recycled of course it may contain traces of water as it form as your drop and then at last commercial significance the cellulose acetate used commercially for yarn as acetyl content of about 39.5% and has degrees of polymerization about 400 however the resins have 43 to 45% acetyl content can be added with plasticizers like dibutyl phthalate to improve its strength strength and known as rayons plastic widely used in manufacturing synthetic fiber applied in clothing materials cottons blankets carpets etc it is also used in surgical dressing and bandages also in household decorative items can be made possible from it and at last thank you so much for watching the video don't forget to like share and subscribe